Andrew James, and this is Andrew Haskins. Andrew Haskins, and we are the, the co-curators and the co-organizers, basically the whole team for Focus Hong Kong. So thank you for joining us for this introductory speech for the very first edition. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, it's good to be here. Uh, obviously, we'd have loved to be doing this in person. Uh, you know, celebrating Chinese New Year with all of you, having a drink and everything. But with COVID, COVID being what it was, everything we, we've shifted our program online. Though we will be, we will be coming to cinemas later in the year. So you know, please do you know continue to check us out. And we hope we'll get a chance to have a drink together. And we we hope you have a very good Chinese New Year, watching the Focus Hong Kong program and everything. So, so about Hangdi, do you want to say a bit about Focus Hong Kong? Where we are? Sure. I mean the. The, the whole, the very basic idea for Focus Hong Kong is, is really to create a festival that celebrates Hong Kong cinema. Um, it's something that both James and I really grew up on. You know, we remember seeing those Hong Kong films late at night on Channel 4, um, you know, and, and for, for, I think for both of us, like I can say, that's kind of where we fell in love with Asian film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And Hong Kong cinema has been such a, a strong part of both of us. Uh, I mean, Andy running Eastern Kicks, uh, the website, you know, I'm an Asian film and I work in production between, you know, Asia and the UK and Hong Kong and the UK at the moment. So we're, we're very, very passionate about Hong Kong cinema. We both also run a Chinese visual festival, which has been going for 10 well, years. 10 years, 2011. Your, your maths is better there. Better <laughs> than mine. <laughs> but, you know, we, when we've done a lot of Hong Kong stuff as part of that, like, you know, last year we had like uh, Stanley Kwan over, well, two years ago now. Yeah. Two years ago now we had Stanley Kwan over. We, but we felt that there's such a popularity of our Hong Kong program we were doing and everything that, you know, this deserved like splitting up into a separate event of its own. So we have more opportunities to, to bring Hong Kong films to the UK, uh, filmmakers, uh, you know, chances for the stars and absolutely, yeah, just talent across the board, everything to showcase like the because I think Hong Kong has such a huge variety and range of different genres and talents, and everything like that. So, we're, we're really excited to share, you know, stuff from like new films all the way through to we're gonna be getting to like a lot of classics. I think it's fair to say, we're, we're gonna. I don't want to say indulge ourselves because <laughs> you're all gonna enjoy watching the stuff, I, I'm sure, but. We're, we're going to have a range of like new releases, you know, very contemporary stuff and classics. Like, you know, we've, we've got in this program here and everything. So uh, I think it's going to be a very, you know, hopefully a very you know, long running and exciting journey. We're going to, we have another event coming in March, uh, obviously now also online. Then we'll have our, our main event later in the year. Uh, we're aiming for July at the moment, COVID permitting. We'll be back in cinemas having a drink with all of you. Uh, and from then on, we, we'll, yeah, we, we keep pushing forward and in, into the future to bring you more and more great content and stuff. And I guess that we, we should say, you know, now at this point, a big thank you to our main partner, as well as our main sponsor, the Hong Kong Economic Trade Office London, who's the, the main sponsor and main partner for Focus Hong Kong. He's also supported CBF for many years. So um, obviously we couldn't be doing this without them, everything. So yeah, a huge, Thanks, huge thank you to them for everything. Cheers. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, to say a little bit about the program we've got this this year. I mean, we've as we've said, like we we've kind of you know we've gone for a mix of the old and new. Would you say? Yeah, I mean that's very much part of the mandate is is, is to be a proper celebration of Hong Kong cinema. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, this is it's a fairly it's a, it is a fairly modest start, you know. But it, it I think we it sets out exactly what we want to do with this festival, which is you know, a real mix of genres, you know, old and new, you know, we've got the, the short films as well. It's bringing everything, all these different parts together, you know, that, that, that are so much a part of, of, of Hong Kong cinema and, and, and really celebrating it is so important to us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think if you could, without sounding pretentious and stuff, that's kind of our cur curatorial approach. <laughs> because, you know, because as we've said, like, we, we love this ourselves, we're so, passionate about it so if we, if we look through some of the stuff we've got in the program i mean zoo warriors you know i mean, well, I mean, I mean that, that brings the classic doesn't it uh, i mean it's a, an, immortal, <laughs> an immortal classic in zoo warriors everything i mean having having that in this 2k version uh is yeah i mean that, that's a good statement of intent. and that, that was i mean that was really the 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 
because that was one of the first films in that Chinese ghost stories season yeah, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. Channel 4 that was, what, 1990, Christmas 1990, something like that. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, you know, I remember watching it and, and basically going, what the, you know, <laughs> but it's just so fantastic. I and mean, we hadn't seen anything like that, you know, and it was always, I always liked the fact that, uh, you know, with Channel 4 as well, that, that they, you know, these were link, original language versions, you know, subtitles. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. um you know they weren't dubbed where you know before you know some you did some stuff you know, came across on video and so on but you know most of the time it was it was very very badly dubbed and you know, dubbed, yeah, absolutely. you know we, we, we i mean even i'm too young yeah but not even good uh, young james but um <laughs> young james indeed indeed <laughs> you know we're too we, we were too young to have uh enjoyed you know the 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 seventies heyday of kung fu movies and mm. cinema which but they were all very very badly done. I, I caught up with some of them in the early days of video in the eighties because never the same. But yes, Zoo Warriors and the Magic Mountain, um absolutely I mean, amazingly classic. crazy, crazy film. Mm. And that's very it. crazy film. And we will definitely that's definitely something we'll a bean will be continuing on in, in the future. More more of these films. Because especially in this case, um for I will say younger audiences as well. You know, we have people who have yet to discover it, uh, people who can revisit it, you know, older audience. It's just a great it's great to have that kind of balance, I think. Mm. Uh, and we'll we'll continue to show that definitely in our uh, curating practice moving forward and everything. But you know, we we've got so much other like contemporary stuff. Um, in this as well, I and mean, then we have uh, you know Witness Out of the Blue, late, latest film from uh, uh, Feng Chang, Andrew Fung, which is an amazing, very offbeat murder mystery. Which we have Louis Koo, the the ever tanned Louis Koo, facing off with you know, the parrot, everything as well. Yeah. And we've got some great like exclusive, you know, interview Q and A content uh, within the, the director as well. So that's that's a fantastic film, uh, really really worth checking. It, it's a great show of like you know sort of working creatively within genre as well which is something we're very keen to showcase as well so that's definitely a great film to check out mm. and then we've also got uh memories to choke on drinks to wash them down yeah that's uh, that's a very a nice anthology film very nice. uh mixing a bit of drama as a bit of documentary but all very much kind of focusing on on hong kong now and, and mm. very different sides of, of life there and is there it's it's a very really lovely solid film of you know, oh, yeah, know, very actually. sweet movies and quirky yeah. kind of takes on on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the variety, even within those four stories. I mean, um, one of the things which, which was in kind of the notes for the film, saying it mixes the the political and the personal, uh, but mm -hmm. it, which is great. It's fantastic the way it explores kind of you know the society of Hong Kong, the kind of that, that variety we keep talking about, that kind of range of different aspects of Hong Kong culture everything in there it, it's a, and it's both kind of like it's very very sharp and challenging but it's very human as well so that's i'm really really happy we have the well i guess we have to see uk online premiere it hasn't screened in cinema but we still have to see online premiere <laughs> but it's i mean, i'm very 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 happy we have that at the festival as well mm. people are going to love that film so um we have till we meet again which is a very another very personal film, isn't it? Um, I mean, that's incredible. Written, produced, directed, and 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 starring <laughs> Stephen Ma. Yes, yes, yeah. that, that's it. Which kind of um, it's not any spoiler for the film, but you know, inspired by you know dealing with the passing of his own mother uh, and everything, and it's it's just incredibly well made. It's very rare to see a film as open, uh, I think, until we meet again, and uh, I think it's a film which will be very affecting. For a lot of people who watch it and everything because you know it's uh you know it's it's kind of a balance between like the, the commercial and the art house aspects as well it is quite a dark psychodrama but at the same time it's very moving and it has a real sort of warm and very very believable humanity to it so uh, i'm very glad we have that in there as well to showcase that you know kind of side of hong kong cinema empty hands. and then finally for our main feature we uh, for the last of our main features we've got the empty hands Empty Hands. Which is a uh, martial arts film with a bit of a difference. Yes, it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic sort of slightly more philosophical uh, martial arts film directed by and starring Chapman To, who's possibly not the first person you would think to you know, direct and star in a martial arts film, but does a fantastic job here. And Steffi Tang is, I mean, I mean, she's great in most stuff anyway, but here she's, you know, it's an amazing performance with all the, 
the training and stuff she put into to actually do this film and it's you know it's properly offbeat and stuff but it's quite hard hitting as well at the same time it's got some really really great martial arts scenes so i think people are going to really love that too and i'm very very happy to have that here at focus hong kong and then yeah, moving on from that, we've we've got lots of uh, free fresh wave films. So we've we've created some of the best of fresh wave from from the years that we've we've been bringing that to the UK. Yes, I mean I, I guess you know that's that's one of the other kind of triumphs of of, of you know when I got involved in the Chinese Visual Festival was mm. uh, bringing this these really interesting young filmmakers mm. work, which is part of the the fresh wave short film festival. In Hong Kong and, and actually becoming a regular partner with with the the Fresh Wave, um, you know, since what's it, twenty sixteen when we started showing you films now? Twenty sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> um, the old memory is not what it used to be. But, you know, but, yeah, uh, yeah. So it's 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 um it's actually been running for since two thousand and six. It yeah. was set up by Johnny Toe. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and does seem to be a bit of a training ground for people that, that become kind of protégés of his. To, yeah. Uh, as with Travisa, that was just three directors of fresh wave films. Um, mm. It's also and and it's it's also uh, supported by the Hong Kong Arts Development Council. Mm. Um, and it, it is as well as the guys who did Travisa. It's it's a, definitely the kind of training ground for a lot of the the new filmmakers coming out of Hong Kong. We've Going back, we've had Flora Lau who did Benz. Obviously. We've had uh, Wong Chun who did Mad World. Mm -hmm. um, there's Norris Wong who did My Prince Edward. There's mm -hmm. you know, all sorts of, of new filmmakers coming out of it. So it, it is it is a really great way to, to, to see some of these films. Um, and you know, we deliberately we picked a real range of of, of, of different genres from 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 that. And and yeah, you know, for me, there are a few films that. Previously, I got kind of overruled from, and, and, uh, so we've been able to revisit the, that original selection that we had, and actually show mm. some that we didn't show before. You know, that's something yeah. you know, like like a long ride, for instance, which I, I really loved, but you know, the rest Great. of it overruled me. Sure. Uh, no. This time, I've had my way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, absolutely, it, it's given, and we'll have more. We'll have another like uh, selection of these in the March program uh, and everything. But it, it's fantastic to see these young filmmakers coming forward and I think it's really really valuable to have that kind of mentoring program everything mm. we're, we're giving these young directors like a, and they're you know they have a some budget to make these films they have it's the, these are actually really high quality shorts uh, yes yeah. every time each year when we see the fresh wave selection I'm always really really impressed by it as well and right sure yeah, we've got a, as you say we've got a nice range of it nice genres covered in there so um uh, I hope that's something which will help you know get more exposure for some of these directors because you know we're definitely going to see more of some of these directors in, in the future at least some of them will definitely go on to making more features in hong kong so and it's worth repeating that these these films are available to stream for free so you know you just free. go off to the the uh, fresh way films bundle and just they'll all be automatically added to your library and you can enjoy them at your <laughs> own, own leisure that's it and uh, yeah i mean all the we should say that so Everything will be live by the time you see this, but we have our festival passes where you can watch films individually. So, so yeah, I mean, we hope very much that you're going to enjoy the program. And yeah, I mean, we're on all the social medias and like we're on the Facebook and the Twitter and stuff, uh, you know, at Focus HK Film, I believe. Or you can find this just probably under Focus Hong Kong. So follow us and we'll, we'll be announcing our March program before too long. And if you if you have, yeah, have any thoughts or feedback before then, we, we'd love to hear hear more from any of you about the you know what kind of stuff you would like to see from Hong Kong old new documentary shorts fiction uh, maybe some horror films would be quite nice <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so uh, I guess we'll just say thank you again for if you've made it this far through watching our video and everything <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm sure you've enjoyed enjoying the films everything on this you know on this program and stuff and yeah thank you very much and we we hope you have or had or are having a very nice new year, I guess. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. And hope to see you soon. We hope to see you soon with a drink in person. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>